I think that I am too emotional to be a good filmmaker because I really can't uh, separate myself from anything that is in the movie. I'm, I'm really emotional. Maybe it's a kind of part of a culture also that it's, you feel so bad about yourself if you let bad things happen to people. So that's, not, that's why I, sometimes I think I shouldn't make movies about people who are in trouble. Maybe I should find some rich, successful people and make movie about them because <laughs> Kim Kardashian is my next movie. <laughs>I met Sonita through my cousin who is a social worker so she asked me to go there and meet Sonita to see if I can help her with music because she wanted to record rap but she didn't know anybody and she didn't have that much education about music. Our connection was a big difference, I mean brought a lot of difference to her life. It's, it's difficult to imagine if she, she could have that, um, these changes in her life without having a person dedicate, being dedicated to her so much. But maybe if I was not there, because of her, her ambition and her power, she would absorb another person in this universe. really made me do things she's so she's such a she's power of life she has a lot of power in her existence so she makes people do things of course Sonita was always open was always open to filming because she was a person who never had a, she never had a voice and she wanted to have it although at the beginning she trusted me less and little by little she was more open and she opened up more and more I didn't expect uh, that this movie will go so many places and it will be like this, but still I was I was enjoying. I always it's, that's it. Like you enjoy filmmaking itself so much that you even don't think that much about outcome. Because if you in a creative procedure, if you think about outcome, you can. It's not. It's not. It doesn't help you. You should enjoy this. The work. You, the work you're doing. You should love it. And you should do it. They are happy now because she sends money back home. She sends all her nieces and nephews to school. She doesn't, uh, her mom doesn't have to work anymore because she sends money back home. And now they understand the power of a girl. So, no, they don't, they, I don't think they, they, they bother her anymore. And they are proud of her. And even her mother was fighting with relatives and uh, neighbors that are criticizing her being alone in America. She fights with them. No, she, I think her mother also changed. She, couldn't, she was not a bad mother. She only couldn't imagine another future for her or for a girl. She, all she had seen in her life was this. So now she's, she, I think she's now more, she sees more opportunities. I don't think that there is freedom in Iran. Uh, Iran is uh, uh, has a very a very strong central governmental control, and uh, there is no freedom of speech in Iran. There is a harsh censorship in Iran, but um, still. Iranian filmmakers are struggling to find a voice. 
And if I want to compare Iran in, with Afghanistan, I should say that in Afghanistan, pressure and, and in Pakistan, pressure comes from people, is downward to up. So if you want to be a singer, your neighbors, your family will do something to you in Afghanistan or Pakistan. You will be in trouble by people. In Iran, you, your family will be proud of you. And government will arrest you. Iranian society is much more developed and progressive than Afghanistan society. In Iran, it's very complicated to talk about uh, Iranian women because there are many contradictions. In some, on one hand, 65% of university students in Iran are women. In another hand, our, and 25% of movies are made by women. But it doesn't mean that anybody wanted this to happen. Women wanted to get this because they don't have custody of their children in case of a divorce. They don't have equal inheritance. Inheritance is half of their brothers. Um, they don't have uh, a lot of things about women is half of men. But then Iranian women are very motivated and they, so it's difficult to say, and this suppression comes mainly from above, from government down, from people themselves. So I think that um, if any change happens in Iran, it will, be, it will be done by women, because Iranian women are the most motivated uh, people in Iran. Of course I'm for freedom, but in the same time, sometimes when you don't have freedom, you become more creative and also you have more motivation for creation because sometimes you see that there is not that much movies made in Switzerland. There's not that much boring movies made in Scandinavia or they have to come to India or to Africa to make movies, uh, documentaries because there is nothing interesting in their own countries. But then you go to Iran and every day make a new documentary. So of course I want oh, oh, I want, I love freedom, but in the same time, sometimes I think oh, this censorship makes you more creative, <laughs> which is stupid, which is I prefer not to be creative, but to be free. So I think freedom is more important than creativity. <laughs>